Welcome to Unseth Pottery. I am Kim Unseth and today I'm going to be showing how I glaze this chicken mug with ceramic transfers. Today I am doing some chicken mugs. I did this one yesterday and Todd grabbed it right away and started using it. Um, so first I do a speckled ongo which is from Mako. All the clay that I use is M370, so it's just a, a white stoneware clay. And we have a pug mill, so I don't like changing clays. It's way too much work to clean out the pug mill. So with this speckled on globe, you can put it on the clay when it is leather hard, or you can even put it on when it's fairly wet. But I like to put it on uh, pieces that have already been bisque fired then it's not fragile. However, if I'm dipping a glaze, then I will put the speckled on go on before it goes into the bisque fire so that the glaze will absorb. Good. Um, and not be saturated already from the on go. The nice thing about doing the on goes is you can put it on the bottom of the mug and it just takes it to another level. I got these ceramic underglaze transfers from Elan. Elan Transfers, I think it's called. And on this mug, I did two rows of chickens. <laughs> but I want these to go further, and this is my last sheet of transfers, so I'm just going to do one row of chickens. But I think that'll look just as good, if not better, anyways. So I just lined it up to where I want it. And then you take clean water and a sponge and just press into it. And then I just readjust and go to the next one. So another nice thing about doing this when it is at the bis it's already been bisqued, is you can press and you're not worried about breaking anything. As you're going around a belly of a bug, you kind of have to adjust or you start going on an angle. But I just, I'll either cut the transfer so it's not as long or just kind of fold it and adjust it. Where did I put my scissors? Oh, it's okay. I will just rip it. And then I will just tuck that in under the handle. I always like the details when you get the transfers on the handle and on the bottom, places where people maybe don't expect to see it. So then I will put the chicken on the bottom. on it. All right, and then you just pull off the paper. Oh, I do want to do the handle as well. This is just satisfying. So I don't get them mixed up. I 
do want to put something on the handle. I think I'll just do that. That's gonna be cute. And then next I'll do fire brick red, kind of in a wavy pattern and just slightly cover this speckled on go. Um, fire brick red has specks in it already. So I just, I don't do this speckled on go where I don't need it just to save. There's just no point in doing it, but it will match up fine. You won't be able to tell the part that goes overlapped. So yeah, and then I just fire it at regular home fire. this video remember to like and subscribe and don't be shy I love to hear from you so leave a comment